Traders in Uwelu Regular and Spare Parts Market in Ward 5 left their wares to receive the Ego PDP campaign team following the antecedents of the chairmanship candidate Ere Ogbemudia, popularly called Madam Project, in her first tenure as chairman of Ego Local Government. PDP chairman in Ego Local Government area, Chief Ekundayo Idehe, and the candidate, which include the councillorship candidate, told the traders that in terms of achievement, Ere Ogbemudia is going to surpass what she did in her first tenure when voted in to office. Uno piki ready. What is not for this son? My dear people of Ugalu, my dear people of Fai, Una, go put that upon a region. We will not use the big one, use this configure. Or the last one, take and torture. Now, no waiting I do for this Ugalu when I fed to chairman. Abi, the road where first you don't fed fast before they had to pass. If you now vote for my party, where I can come at, which is PDP, I win the election. I will come back if they can finish it till I go back home. Make us go back to our city. That is a first second. Make us use our hearts. Go use our hearts. Go use our hearts. This party and this regime will fail. The PDP campaign team were also at Evaike, what sees where they appealed to the people to vote all PDP candidates in the upcoming election and enlightened them on the best way to vote. In an interview, Chief Idehe and Ere Bermuda said more dividends of democracy will be evenly distributed with PDP in office as chairman and councillors. I would describe her as a philanthropic woman, as a woman of virtue, as a mother. Above all, Otoki Nadu, she will say and she will do it. Madam Projects is being named. I want to use the opportunity to tell my people of Ego local government that after on the 2nd of September and they vote for us and we are elected, we are going to make sure that we bring that dividends of democracy to the people of Ego. Ere Ogbemudia in her first tenure built a fence around Uwelu regular market and constructed a modern toilet for the traders. Ikmo Musa, Ugi Agbe, ITV News.